Welcome to this lecture. We present the sound beam zones. Let's start by the D zone. It is the distance from the front face of the transducer to the first echo that is uh, identifiable. The D zone is a zone where uh, it is not possible to detect defects. This is the specimen and the probe. You can see the orange color which is the sound beam. And uh, in the screen we got uh, this presentation. And the distance from the front face of the probe to uh, the first echo, which is here, is the dead zone. The second zone is the near zone. The near zone uh, of a crystal varies uh, with the material being tested, but it can be worked out of this formula, which is n equals d squared divided by 4 lambda. And lambda also can be uh, replaced by the frequency divided by velocity. Of course, uh, D is the diameter of the crystal and F is the frequency, lambda is the wavelength, V is the velocity of this uh, sound propagation. Now, another characteristic of the sound beam is the far zone. The far zone uh, can be worked out using the formula sine theta divided by 2 is equal to uh, a factor k multiplied by the wavelength lambda divided by d, which is the crystal diameter. k is a constant uh, for the age of the beam spread. And uh, the values of k maybe work it out also using this diagram. When the sound intensity uh, drops by 6 dB, which is half of the intensity, the K factor is approximately uh, 0.56. And if we take the age of the beam to be where sound energy is 10%, uh, uh, the value of K is uh, 1.08. And uh, at the extreme edge of the sound beam, to work out beam spread angles, then K is 